What's up you guys, Rex here. Could you treat joint pain with ghost peppers? Surprisingly, it turns out kinda yes. So this past week in medical school, we talked about skin, but also bones and muscles and joints. So that is especially exciting for me as someone that wants to go into orthopedic surgery. Now, one of the coolest things I learned about that surprised me this past week is that it actually is a like second or third line treatment for pain related to arthritis to give someone topical capsaicin. And capsaicin is the active ingredient in hot peppers that makes it feel like your mouth is on fire, that you measure in Scoville heat units. That's how much capsaicin is in the pepper. And so that was really cool to me to learn about, just a quick fun fact basically, that yes, you actually can use high concentrations of capsaicin topically that will go through your skin and into the joint and actually have an effect that can lead to reduced pain. Now, how this works is also cool. And it's cool because we don't know 100% sure how it works. That the general theory is it has to do with the capsaicin basically causing you enough pain and discomfort that it basically depletes the amount of substance P you have in your nerves, which is one of the big chemotransmitters that is actually helping produce that nerve signal from the peripheral nerve that is at the joint to the central nervous system and up to the brain. And that if you deplete all of your substance P because you have some substance like capsaicin, which is causing a bunch of irritation and nerves to freak out, then you don't have substance P to transmit regular pain signals causing arthritis pain. Now, I'll link down below to another article that sort of says, yeah, substance P definitely gets diminished, but that is more correlated than causative of the actual effect that capsaicin has in reducing pain. So it might be a little more complicated than that, but the general idea is capsaicin causes a lot of pain and reaction and stuff to happen to your nerves, causes them to freak out and not be able to transmit normal nociceptive signals, that is pain signals, to your central nervous system and to your brain. And if you do high doses of capsaicin, you can actually sometimes have it be like a once every month treatment. Sometimes it can be a daily treatment. That's something that the specific doctor would have to know, not something I have yet learned in my journey to become a doctor. But that was something really cool and short that I learned in this past week of medical school. If you wanna see more cool things that I've learned in my weeks in medical school, check out the playlist on the right. Also, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to see more of my future uploads. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. I'll read and respond to every single comment. As always, like the video if you like the video, dislike the video if you dislike the video, and until next time, don't be ordinary, go be great. Mm -hmm.